What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter, and I got some news I want to share with you guys. Um, I'm pretty sure you all have seen the reports of Lil Reese. You know, we all been blogging about that. That's been trending all over the world. Lil Reese uh, going through the issues that he went with. Reports came out that he was grazed in the thigh. Then they fixed it. He was grazed in the eye. This is no rumor. That young man survived a crazy ordeal. We almost watched him check out on camera. This was no joke. But these are the things that I want to ask because it's a few questions. A lot of people been asking me, do I believe the whole story of, of the carjacking and shit like that? I believe to a certain extent, you know, um, I believe to a certain extent, but it's things about this that I find very confusing. Like, first off, if it was a carjacking or a car stolen or whatever like that, right? This is the thing that I'm hearing. If it didn't happen right at that moment, then, you know, taking matters into your own hands is a little different. Because I've been hearing from close sources that this shooter might be charged, you know, um... I'm not sure if the shooter got arrested. I heard from close sources that the shooter left the scene. And it is people there who's going hard on Lil Reese and snapping. We see some dude doing gang signs, some lady going hard. But I'm hearing the shooter left the scene. I could be wrong, but this is what I'm hearing. These ain't rappers, so I ain't got the full, full info. But this is what I hear from close sources is that... The shooter got away. He left, okay? Now, everybody's sorting out the situation about what happened. I heard that the Durango was riddled with bullets, okay? Now, this is the thing. If the carjacking ain't happened right there at the moment, you can't, you know, GPS some, find out where the car at, then go to the car and shoot the car up and everybody in the car. That's the wild, wild west. That ain't really how you do it. We kind of seen George Zimmerman take matters into his own hand with the Trayvon Martin situation, and we seen that that went. That's why I say this is kind of confusing. You know, Larissa is saying that he wasn't involved. He gave a statement. A lot of people saying, man, he told he snitching. I don't consider that snitching. I think you could tell to get yourself out of trouble to tell what happened. I just can't. I just think you can't tell who did it. Or who was a part of anything. I think that guy got an opportunity to get himself out of trouble. Say, hey, I don't know what the fuck going on. I was just here to get some green. That is not telling. You know what I'm saying? That's getting out of a situation. Now, if he say his name, his name, he told me this and that and that, then that's a different situation. You know, I think he has the right and the opportunity to get himself out of trouble. This situation is kind of fishy to me, you know. I hear about the stolen car and all kind of shit, but I think this is going over people's head that somebody got the tracking and tracked the car and took matters into their own hand, you know. Larissa almost lost his life, so if you ask me, 